Hey, what's going on, guys? Arthur and Mark here. I'm back with another Star Wars figure review. And I have yet uh, another figure from the Vintage Collection. And this is uh, the last of the, the three reviews from the figures from my little uh, mini Hasbro haul, uh, as promised. And this is... I thought I'd say this is probably the best of, of the three, surprisingly. Uh, this is the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. And it's a very good figure. I know, I know yes, it's, it's another clone. And in some ways, they, they get to be uh, the same and not very different. But um, this this guy is, is really good. I'm glad I, I picked him up. I'll go into more detail about that in a moment. First, as usual, we'll show you the packaging. And you know, your card back here, you have your ages four and up and uh, choking hazard stickers there uh attack of the clones logo again with that sort of vintage silver wrap around looks looks very cool it looks really works i think uh in the, in the sort of vintage style here you have the the character name the clone trooper lieutenant and very cool cool image on the card back you know, you got other clone troopers in the background, and I think you have one of the walkers. Uh, I think this is, it's, I'm guessing this is meant to be sort of Geonosis and that, uh, that opening battle, or the, the, basically the first battle of the Clone Wars, as we see in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. And cool image here, this trooper just firing away. And then you can see here he is in the, the bubble. You get down here the Kenner logo. It looks very cool. Nice. They did a good job on this on this uh, card back image. Okay, so we'll flip it around. And again, you have the A New Hope Star Wars silver wraparound logo. Very classic looking. Uh, you have the Finch Collection description, which again is the same. And we'll pan across, and if you want to pause the video to read this, be my guest. And other figures in the wave. Uh, these these six figures here at the top are from, or the five first five figures, excuse me, are from the that sort of like lost lost wave, lost packaging wave, where you had the the Vintage Collection card backs, and then you had uh, these these sort of uh, discarded. Uh, card back the the sort of alternate card backs and we first saw those at uh, San Diego Comic-Con last year so Okay, we also have some other figures from uh, the final wave or at this point the final wave of the vintage collection and There have been reviews on pretty much all these figures on my channel uh, a couple I didn't bother with uh, but most of these figures have been reviewed. Yes, you know, some of the figures I don't, a couple of the figures I don't have, and some I just didn't feel bothered, didn't feel uh, needed a review. I didn't. Uh, there's the clone trooper lieutenant, which I'm doing now. Vader I don't have. Uh, Prune face I'm holding off on doing, and the others I've done. These all these figures have gotten reviews. Uh, these figures, the sand trooper, Leia, uh, the shock troopers. One that I don't have, and the Jar Jar I didn't bother with either. Uh, Vintage Collection logo again. Again, three vehicles that we've been seeing for months now in the card backs. Uh, Hasbro, StarWars.com, all that. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on to the figure because there's a lot to tell. It's a very, very good figure. This is, again, it wasn't high on my list because it was just... You know, I have so many clones and clone troopers, and they're just, you know, they, they do get to be kind of the, the, the same, because they're clones, and, you know, how many clones can you, can you use, you know. So, but I am glad I picked this up. Again, I got it cheap, so, so I, I picked it up, and. I'm really glad I picked it up because it's a it's a great great figure. 
a phenomenal figure with accessories and articulation. You know, he's your basic, you know, phase one uh, clone trooper. Uh, white armor, and he's got little touches of blue indicating that he's a clone lieutenant. So you can see on the shoulders and all the way down the arm, the forearm, and the hands, and then little bit of touches of blue on the helmet up here, a little sort of fin around the visor. Okay, you got these four blue dots here on the chest armor. Very nice, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. I like the blue, the blue and the white work work really good. It's a good contrast together, I think. And we turn it around and again. It's the kind of stuff we've seen before, but it's it's very well done. I'm gonna get into in a moment. You'll see why this figure is so good. There you see. Um, he does have a, remo a removable helmet with clone face. And let's see if we get a good. Yeah, I think that's better. And you can see. I mean, it's, it's cool. Again, we've seen this facial sculpt before. I don't think it's anything new. But it's nice to have. Looks good. Nicely sculpted, you know, the hair and the face and all that. Okay. That's good to have. Uh, Accessory-wise, he comes with two weapons. We have the standard kind of smaller clone trooper blaster. And again, you know, we've seen these many times before, but they, you know, they put a little touch of silver paint on there. See, right there. And on the other side, it's nicely, it's nicely sculpted. It's not too, it's not a, the overly flexible weapon. Sometimes they give these weapons and they're too flimsy. And these are a nice, kind of a little harder plastic. And like I said, you can see the, the silver touches of paint. Just adds a little more realism to it. Very nicely done. And then his, his other weapon is he has the, the bigger blaster rifle, which again we've seen before, but they put the little touches of paint on there to so the silver right here and right up here. And it's you know again just like with the small blaster, it's it's a it's a stronger plastic. It's not too bendable, bendy, and it just looks better. It's a better plastic and sculpted well and painted well, so. So two very good accessories that fit very well in his hands. And uh, just really, really adds to the figure. Now, here's something that I was not expecting, and that's the the articulation on this guy. We know we've gotten sort of the standard for these vintage collection figures, but this guy goes, you know, above and beyond. He's got he's basically super articulated. You have bolt on the neck, ball and shoulders, ball and elbow elbows you have swivels in the wrist but also you have that double hinge where this hand go goes in and out and then you have the up and down motion on this hand so you have the the swivel and the double hinge on there you got a ball jointed torso there are ball jointed hips bulged knees and bulged ankles so super articulated just really really magnificent articulation on this guy so, so I'm definitely pleased to have picked this guy up for and, and that's, that's kind of nice in collecting every once in a while you get this sort of like nice little uh, a nice surprise in your figures it's like here's a figure that I just you know wasn't huge on my list got it at a good price so I picked him up but, so, just an excellent, excellent figure. Great paint apps, greatly sculpted, great articulation, great, uh, great weapons. Just, there's, 
I cannot see really a flaw in in this figure. It's it's uh, really really outstanding. It's an so I so I'm definitely recommending this guy. Um, I may be going on a little too much, but uh, I was just so surprised at how good this figure is for for a figure that I was wasn't huge on getting. But anyway, there's the figure. Definitely pick him up. You know, if you can get him at a good price, he shouldn't be too hard to find. You know, I, I see. You know, you saw these in stores. They weren't overly difficult to find. At least I didn't think so. Maybe it's different in your area. But anyway, if you could find him, definitely pick him up. He's definitely recommended. So there it is, the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. As usual. Comment, rate, subscribe, and until my next video, I'll see you, and may the force be with you.